Hello, everybody. Welcome to Create with Nancy. I let me know if you're joining in here tonight. Welcome, welcome. This is Create with Nancy, and I hope you are tuning in tonight for me for a live. Um, I've got some fun things to show you. Um, a great thing for you could use it as an ornament or something for your um, holiday table as a place setting. So if you are joining in, let me know that you're here by leaving a comment. And I was a, a minute or so late. I was just trying to get my lighting um, organized here. So, so I think I see Elaine and Linda. What's the music? <laughs> <laughs> um, I just posted a little clip um, just before I came on so hopefully you go back and um, and listen to it I'm just afraid to kind of play it because I'm not sure the rules of playing uh, music on Facebook so um, so I just want to make sure uh, I have the rights to it okay so um, so go back and listen to the clip um, it's so energizing and fun, and it'll give you a taste of what um, we experience, demonstrators experience, when we um, attend a live event with Stampin' Up. It is truly amazing. You leave there feeling energized and exciting, and um, Patty's here, and she can was pop into the music. Yes, you can attune to it, and I see Jessica's here also. So they can attune to it because they have attended um, a Stampin' Up! event um, before. So, and Pat, she's here too. Well, hello, hello. So, um, so I think we're going to, uh, so did everybody have a great Thanksgiving? Um, happy and healthy and everything around? We just kind of had, um, I don't know, quiet day. I kind of like, I didn't do any work, so that's why I'm behind in posting anything from from uh, the Wednesday live so um, so I'll definitely get that done you know maybe later tonight or over the weekend for sure and but I can tell you that uh, Carolyn was one of our winners and Patty so congratulations ladies so um, welcome Gail and Carolyn see did you hear that you were a winner from Wednesday's live so um, you get one of those little gift card holders and I think you love the poinsettia so let me know about that whether you want Carolyn was the first one I drew so Carolyn you let me know if you want the poinsettia or the snowflakes okay okay um hopefully I've got everything set up let me look at my screen here a little bit before I switch you guys over okay just finished your pumpkin pie and <laughs> the impossible pumpkin pie oh wow wonderful Thanksgiving oh that's good yeah we were just quiet we ended up going for a drive um, delivered a couple of things um, and yeah just kind of quiet day um, read my paper watched the parade so and some of the dog show so that was kind of nice and we drove for quite a few hours I'm surprised how far we went um, yes you are on a roll Carolyn Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start off, whoops, um, hold on. Before I do that, I screwed up my, I messed up my screen. So let me start over. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're gonna start with the catalog. Um, oh, I forgot. I was gonna go grab a project and I totally forgot what I was gonna do. Okay, um, so we're back to 2018. So that video clip was from the convention that um, we went to in Orlando, Florida. It was in November of Orlando, and they they just play the amazing music, and really, um, well, they call it on stage now. So conventions, though, many years ago, they were even better. They had themes. They the music was just astronomical. Um, it was just totally amazing. Uh, one year they um, they. They drove a UPS truck out on stage. That was kind of amazing. And I didn't I wasn't there for that one, but um, but I saw video clips of it. And one year they had um, I think it was the year we introduced the decor elements. They took an old Volkswagen van, like the old kind, you know, back from the 60s, and they decorated it with all the decor elements. That was really, really cool. 
was it decor or it was that hippie set that we had um with like the peace sign and the flowers i think but maybe it was decor but that was kind of neat that um they took this van painted it and it was just so flowery and fun and that was that kind of set up the theme for our convention that year so okay hi um hi wendy all right, so pretty much, I mean, they, they definitely have gotten into more of the sweet stuff. Um, so uh, this year was, you know, and I forgot to um, bookmark it. No, this wasn't it. Okay. Um, I didn't really look at the catalogs, but this was a fun suite. The Sherwood, you love sweet. I love the paper in this, um, that was in this suite here. Remember that? It was kind of like a thicker type of designer paper so it was great to to make these little card holders and everything I kind of miss having a heavy-duty type um, paper for that um, and pretty much um, we're back to having the new blends this year so that was kind of neat to having our new blends and of course this darling label punch bats that we've done several if anybody still would like one I still have some of these available Okay, um, and just, you know, more dyes and everything. So, um, and I think, was this the year we discontinued our relationship with, uh, with the big Sizzix? I'm not sure if it was this year or the following year. But anyway, so there's not too much in there that I'm going to share because we're, this is kind of still familiar. Um, did I show this one? I think I did. Let me think here. I'm a lot of sorts here. No, this is the one. Okay. I need to just find out where the stamp set is because I should have marked it. I think. Um, hmm. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I'm off uh, kilter here as to what um, I got to look. I'm looking for my perennial one. Here we go. There's the perennial flower. It's definitely in this suite. Um, I was running out of time here. Okay, so page 106 to 108. Okay, so 2019 was just, um, was a fabulous year for me. Um, it was um, in March of that year, I was lucky enough to um, earned the level of gold. So that means my team was growing. Um, we've added more people to it. So I had enough um, direct uh, team members added to my team so I could promote to the level of gold. So that was really um, a, a great uh, year for me to do. And then also during March, I maybe it was uh, February, I think, towards the end of February, I was asked to present um, to Stampin' Up! Um, at a Stampin' Up! event, or it was called, uh, an, uh, blah, I can't talk, On Stage Local, and um, I knew I wanted to, Jack and I were planning on making a trip out west, and we were going to go to the Grand Canyon, so we kind of fitted around going to the On Stage Local in Salt Lake City, so that was truly, truly amazing, so um uh, to be able to have the the privilege and the honor of presenting to everybody on stage so probably I think there was five or six hundred people there um, that I had to present in front of and um, so the perennial essence suite was the suite that I was lucky enough to present so it had this beautiful paper here and stamp set the stamp set was a little hard to work with but I think I did a pretty good job and I meant to grab the projects that I did and I totally forgot so um, what how much was the punch set I know I already bought two um, I'm not sure what I'll, I'll have to listen to answer questions afterwards Linda okay um, okay so so that was the perennial lesson suite so so while we were there we, we t ended up going like we took the long route um, so our first stop was to Missouri Star um, and uh, in Missouri it was a quilt it's a quilt store it's famous there's like 15 little stores in this one little town and it's pretty much has what has kept that little town going was this fabric store um, 
uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company. So that was a real fun experience. I only had a few hours to shop, so um, uh, so that was great to grab some different fabric that we don't get around here. And, and then we kind of kept making our way slowly to the Grand Canyon and stopping and just kind of taking our time and, and seeing the sights and everything. Um, I think it took us like a good week to get there. Yeah. Um, and so we, went, we did the Grand Canyon and then we kind of whipped around and saw like Lake Powell and um, the Powell Dam. And then we headed towards Kanab. So Kanab was, um, where Stampin' Up! manufactures all our stamps and puts together our ink and, and all that fun stuff. So I was uh, got the privilege of being able to get a private tour. So that was truly amazing was to be able to go to the Kanab facility and see exactly how our rubber stamps are made and the photopolymer also. So it's just unbelievable the things that we were able to do in that three week time span. And then, um, then we kind of headed to Salt Lake City so I could practice and get, get our, you know, get settled in there um, for the, it was a one day event is what it was, but you had to practice. And we toured around the city a little bit and um, what else did we do? And then we kind of left there. Um, we saw Bryce Canyon and Zion Canyon. Um, and then we ended up in Las Vegas, which was Jack's favorite part of the trip which totally amazed me because he is one that does not like crowds. So um, we hung out there in Vegas for um, quite a while, for a few days. And then we um, headed, started heading home because the weather at that time was, it was there was a lot of tornadoes and, and stuff going on. And we really had to kind of um, watch the weather. We, we originally wanted to plan to go up through like Colorado and that way home, but they were having snow and we had a rental and, you know, I wasn't sure how well that would work using a rental. And plus, I mean, they were getting massive amounts of snow. So you really didn't want to be getting caught there. Um, and not knowing the roads or anything. So um, so we just kept to the southern, southern routes and just kind of avoided uh, all the hurricane or the tornadoes going on at that time. Um, and just kind of made our way home and kept stopping and having an adventure every single day. So that made the trip even more memorable. So, okay, so enough of that. So then we're on to September of 2019. That's when I hit my um, $600,000 in career sales. And then um, this is a card I received from Shelly Gardner, um, the founding um, of Stampin' Up, one of the co-founders. So um, I just think it's amazing congratulating me on achieving um, that milestone. So, um, so this is one for the memory books. And then, um, let's see. Oh, so part of gold is Stampin' Up! Gets, lets you choose different things um, for your gold. You get like a gold necklace or one of the other things I chose. Look at this beautiful um, gold pen here. Um, this year I had some extra um, uh, great reward points to, to use up. So I chose this gold one and it's all etched with the Stampin' Up! logo. And it's got the Inspire, Create, and Share on it. So... Um, it's a beautiful pen. I haven't used it yet, but um, but the case it came in, I was just like blown away for this beautiful case that Stampin' Up! did. Um, and it even has like a little congratulations on achieving uh, the title of gold. So that's just really special too. Okay, so, um, so 2019 was another on stage and these were the trading pins. They finally brought back some uh, trading pins. Um, yes, I'll have to try to um, think about uh, framing that. That would be a great idea, Carolyn. That one and the one from Rich Jutkins. Um, so they went to trading pins and um, I have more trading pins because this is this year's trading pins. So this was from 2019, I think. So when you're, um, this is from Orlando. So they always give you like a name badge and then they, they give you um, all these little um, ribbons for what you've earned that um, year during it and what your title is and everything. Um, so 
But this year, and these were the trading pins when we were in Orlando. It had the Stampin' Up! logo. And of course, we had a pineapple and the bee. And of course, I had to get the bee. So, um, so I was able to trade somebody for the bee. And then the pineapple signifies Maui. So I love, love that. So this one on stage, and we got the um, ice cream cone and the shark. So that's a hint of what's coming in the next mini, everybody. So... Um, okay, uh, let's see. So pins, um, what else did we do? Um, um, so here's my, um, here's my $600,000 pin. And then of course, um, the Greek Isles pin that I didn't go on, I cashed out on that one. Um, but I got some pillow gifts to show you from that. And of course, here's the Maui trip that I earned in, um, last year that hopefully we're gonna go in May. So everybody help keep your fingers crossed and pray that we're able to go. Um, and then this year I earned the Maui Elite Trip. So I'm excited about that. Um, they extended our vacation. It was a five day. So they ex the original trip was five days, five, five nights. So they extended it another three nights for us. So um, with, with extra special pillow gifts and um, an extra excursion. Where are we going? Um, we're going on like a sailing turtle snorkeling type event and I'm trying to think what the other one was. Um, hmm. I can't remember what I chose now. So, um, and, um, and the resort just looks absolutely beautiful. So I can't wait to, uh, stay there. Okay. Um, so here is Here's, this is one of the Greek Isle um, pillow gifts. Can you guys see this? Look at this bag. Um, it's just absolutely beautiful. I love this bag. Um, I almost kind of miss it, but this was a bag from Santorini, if I'm pronouncing that right, in the Greek Isles. And so it was always, it was filled with other um, different gifts in here. Um, so it was exciting to open this up um, when Stampin' Up! sent it afterwards. So there was other other little totes. I love these little totes. This is another bag from the Greek Isles here. And <laughs> love what a collection. I know. Thank you, Elaine. I've got to, I've got an idea. And I'm gonna have to try and get out. And I love this one too. I wish we could have these kind of bags to like uh, give us presents to our customers and stuff. Um, wouldn't that be kind of neat? Um, but they don't have these as little gifts that we can buy. So that's kind of sad. Okay. As I'm looking through this stuff, I'm, I keep finding more stuff. This was something from, um, the see, does this logo look familiar? It was what was on my Alaska jacket. So this was one of our, and I shouldn't say the Alaska jacket was a pillow gift. It was one that we could by ourselves and um and i'm so glad i did but this was our pillow gift it's like a wool little mini purse and this was my favorite little purse for the longest time that you could put like your cell phone in there and then um it would open up and there would be everything i'd need to take to the store it was just like perfect to um you can even put a little mini wallet in there too but it was just perfect to uh travel around with carry even just go to the store Okay, what else? I've got other stuff. Um, so I forgot about when we were at um, Orlando Studios to Harry Potter. We tried butterbeer, and they we had this little gift, um, little glass that we could bring our bring home with us as a memento. And but that was the first time I ever had butterbeer, and that was really really good, interesting to try. All right, so this was a pillow gift from. The Greek Isles. So isn't that cool? It matches the perennial essence paper. That watercolor -y effect. And where is this? It's kind of like a little case. I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do with this. It's been kind of sitting in my closet. Um, so it's just got some little pockets and stuff. I'm sure you could... It's probably more like a makeup case um, that you could put stuff in there. And then it has all of this fun stuff. But maybe maybe I should just give it away um, as a little incentive or something. So there's that. Um, and then here, here's one here that we got 
from our center stage. Uh, this is where you had to be silver at the level of silver, silver elite and above. So this was one of our center stage gifts one time. And it has, it's just kind of like a little, it could be like a little money bag. So I might end up using it for that because um, you can put all kinds of little things in there. It could be a little clutch too when you're going out. And I got to show you this. So Stampin' Up! really, really does know how to put on an event because this was from, this was our invitation to manager's reception back in, in 2012. Look at this. It's a little fan and it gives you all the details, what time, where you're going to go, the date and everything. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that a unique invitation to go to your event? Oh, I just found it fascinating. And of course we got um, some engraved um, chopsticks too. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this. There they go. Um, manager reception in Stampin' Up! 2012. So these were at the event that we got to keep. Okay, so one of the things, and then, then they also have just all kinds of cool logo. Um, this is uh, a gift also that we received one time too. It's just a nice insulated to-go cup also. All right, um, so one of the other great things was our Stampin' Success magazines as a demonstrator. I love how Stampin' Up! supports us with all kinds of fun new ideas. Um, they know we don't get stamp of success anymore in the mail. What we do is they, um, every week we get a weekly update with some fun new ideas. Um, so we're not waiting every quarter to get a magazine in the mail. We get ideas and insight every single week. So, um, so Stampin' Up! has always supported us with the ideas, uh, training, uh, and, um, you know, just to inspire us, uh, the, there's like, um, they talk about our kits and stuff. Um, they give us samples on how to step it up. They give us techniques, um, train us on the different techniques and so forth. So I think this is kind of, um, so they just continue on in a different way currently. Okay. All right. So this is kind of one of my favorite mini holiday catalogs. Um, I forgot about the Yes, I know, Missy. Um, what I, this was one of my favorites because I love the farmhouse designer paper in here. I don't know, this, this catalog just seems warm and, um, warmth to you. Um, because I, this was kind of one of my favorite, the, the accessories. I love this stuff down here. I didn't use the stamp set, but I love this stuff down here. Um, so, and of course, this was my second. I love this designer paper. Um, this was such fun designer paper to work with. Um, don't These elves are just so stinking cute. Uh, the candy cane was fun too. Let's see. And, and these guys were fun also. So just fun, fun stuff. Okay, so let me um, let me just talk about this for a minute. So I'll be if you're on my customer email list, I'm going to be emailing out asking who wants a catalog. Okay, so because um, I'm getting ready to place my order next week, and um, I'm checking my list. I want to know who wants a catalog because since we're not meeting virtually, or since we're only meeting virtually and not um, in person. Um, I just don't want to have a ton of catalogs left over. So um, I'm limiting my number a little bit. So if you want a catalog, you need to uh, touch base with me about that. Um, okay. All right. So because this is the next mini and the celebration, and you're going to want to start looking inside of these. Okay. Because you can order from those starting January 4th, I believe, 4th or 5th, I believe. So let me just double check on that. It doesn't have the dates on here. Um, January 5th. Okay. So, okay. Are you anxious to see what I have in store for you tonight? Oh, okay. It took me a while to kind of pull this together because I, um, I had to look for beads and, and it took me a while to kind of hunt it up. So let me show you this. Can you see this? Look at this beautiful tree. Let me try to get it a little bit closer. 
There we go. And how do you think we make it? It's with these poinsettia dies. I saw this. See, this is another feature of being a demonstrator. There's all kinds of support out there. Um, this was, um, I think she was French, a, a French demonstrator. Um, that's what I'm guessing because she put the directions in English and French. And um, it was on our demonstrator planning place. And I just fell in love with it and thought you would like to see how to make it. So it could also be, this was my first one right here, okay? I did red foil and it's a lot shorter, but this could be like a place card setting um, on a table because this is how short it is. It's very short. Um, instead of having the cording here, you could put like a, a note card there or something, um, you know, a little piece of paper in between. So let me show you how to make these. Do you guys love it? Ah. Okay, I need to look. Um, all right, I just want to look at to see what your guys' response was for this tree. All right, um, I've got one other style to show you. Okay, let me grab a few things here. Um, let me pull out a few things here. Okay, you do need some wire cutters, okay? So uh, if you want to just do the short tree, you need, um, how many do you need? Uh, let's see, I did two of uh, two, four. Okay, let me think here for a minute. Um, okay, so here's your poinsettia of your dies, okay? So see how I've added some washi tape to, to hold the center parts together? I think it's helpful so, so you get a nice, um, nice uniform uh, area around it. Okay, so that's that's what I found. But you don't wanna go completely cover each petal because then it's hard to, to pop your cardstock out. You still need to be able to do that. And and you don't want it sticking to, you know, all this washi tape sticking to your um, paper either. So, uh, great way to use the point. Yes, it is. So you are going to need, let me think here. How many did I use? So this is the the green tree, okay? So you need, um, I, I did three colors, okay? Um, so I did, um, I did two petals of each of the three colors in each of the four sizes, okay? Does that make sense? So I did two old, old olive in the larger one the medium, the small, and then even smaller, the extra small. We'll call it extra small. Okay. So, so that's pretty simple math. With the, with the red tree, I only did two sets. Okay. I did an extra set for the, um, for this tree. So you, um, so it's two sets or three, depending on how tall you want it. So just play around with it. So what I did was, is I chose my three colors and I started with, and I, I wanted to, I wanted to keep the same color scheme going up my tree. So I started with shaded spruce, and then I layered old olive. Um, let me think here. So then my next layer was garden green, okay? Because that's my third color. So when I put this on top, I'm going to get the graduation. So then the next is old olive, and then garden green for that, okay? So what I did is I connected these with a glue dot just so it kept them together because you do have to poke some holes in it. And I'm going to just curl my ends here of my poinsettia leaves, okay? You, yes, the taller tree is great for an ornament. It is kind of pretty, you know? I like it, but I don't know if I overdid it on the gems or not. But, um, and then I use floral wire. Um, the... The demonstrator, she had like a thicker plastic kind of coated wire, but I only just had floral and she used um, a bead with just one hole in it. I didn't have any beads because that's what I was going down the rabbit hole for. I came up with these old vintage faceted gems that we used to carry. So this has two holes in it. So, um, so I... 
that's why I'm going with um, two, you know, wire like this. Whereas if you only had a, a single, a hole, a look, blah, I can't talk, a bead with one hole, then you only need um, one hole in here and just string it up that way. Okay. So I'm going to start with, so I just kind of folded it in half. My, um, how big is this? These are, this is 20 gauge wire. And I don't know, I think this is probably like 24 inches and I only used half it. So this is about 12 inches, I believe. Maybe about 10. This is a, a 10 inch piece I folded in half, okay? I'm gonna start with, yep, no. I gotta start from, keep my color scheme here going. And I'm only gonna do a few of these. I think because this might take me a minute. Come on. Because my wire is not the same length. Okay, so I'm gonna just thread this on and I'm going to I'm not gonna take it all the way to the top. Okay. See how can you see? Let me um can you see how much I've got? I've got about a quarter inch showing or so because I want to be able to attach my star onto here, okay? I think I'm gonna show a little bit more. So maybe three eighths of an inch, all right? So I wanna be able to put my star onto there, okay? And then I add a bead. And so it's really a layer of petals. Okay, I was gonna like have half of this done so it's a layer of uh, petals a bead and then another layer of petals my wires aren't the same length so it's a little hard to um, thread this on there we go isn't that looking? See how that's looking? All right, so more beads. And you guys get the picture, right? So you're gonna just kind of keep graduating down until you've done all your layers of your flowers, okay? Until it looks like this. So what I did, I did this, so, um, I added three, but if it's going to be an ornament, I don't think, you, I mean, you can see it. So depending, I kind of was looking to make like that trunk look. So I've got three of the larger gems here. Um, you could maybe use buttons even. Um, just kind of look around in your craft supplies and uh, see what you have. And then the key is you might need, you know, a pair of cutters. And I've got this little twisty thing and I don't do it the same way each time, but you want to try to get this to be kind of flat um, down here, or kind of curl it around. Um, so if you wanted it to stand, this one stood well, and I only put one bead on this because I think the, the the flower petals lets that stand and not wobble all over. Okay. So um, does anybody have any questions? And then I just added my star with lots and lots of glue dots. Okay, and sandwiched it in between uh, this cording. So let me show you this other one that I have here, okay? What do you think of this one? Can you see that? There we go. Oh, I forgot to. Let me show you how to put the, the stars on. So this is what I've got at the end. Can you see that? Let me move it this way. There we go, okay? See how it's got this little hook? Um, I have some stars, so I've already glued up some stars. I kind of put glue dots on every single like star point because I really want to make sure this stays in place. And so we're gonna put one star there and then we'll put another one over here and match it up. And there you go. Isn't that just beautiful? I don't know, I was happy with it. I was like, I loved um, duplicating this again. She used, um, 
I don't know. She didn't say uh, the demonstrator. Her name was Stephanie, I believe. Um, she, she didn't really say what colors, but I like the, the multi look here. So so tell me, which one do you like? Do you like the vanilla? Do you like the, the green? Or do you like this red foil if it was taller? So there you go. You would use two whole buttons, two flat whole buttons. Yeah, you could. I mean, you could just use whatever you have in time, in you know, in in your craft supplies because we all know you we have craft supplies, right? You know, from years ago. So let me know. They're all beautiful. Thank you so much. Okay, what else do I need to tell you? I'm trying to think. Um, what else? Okay, um, so this ends my 20-year journey, stamp anniversary journey. So I so appreciate all of you joining in and following along and helping me remember all these beautiful memories that I've had with Stampin' Up! And I so look forward to, um, to uh, uh, sharing more with them, with you. Uh, going forward so um, so hopefully if anybody is interested because someone uh, Taylor she just uh, took advantage of the stamp or of the Stampin' Up! Um, starter kit this week um, when we were having our Miriam Bright promotion so um, so if anybody's interested in um, receiving a discount or or even making it a business I would love to help uh, talk to you more about it and um, tomorrow, for those who are uh, doing the stamp anniversary make and take and playing bingo with me, um, I'll be sending out your email either tonight or, or first thing in the morning, okay, with the, the Zoom link for that. So look for that and make sure the, the Zoom room opens at quarter to three. So, um, yeah, so... Um, so let me know if you have any questions and probably the month of December, I'm not going to be doing as much. I don't know. I got to come up with a schedule because I'm really trying to catch up on a few things and, and get a few things ahead. So I'm more organized. So, um, so yeah, um, so we'll definitely be doing a live still every Wednesday and I'm just trying to figure out my live and my blog scheduling um, in the weeks ahead. So anyways, um, so I thank you guys for joining in and have an awesome rest of the Thanksgiving weekend and let me know if you want, I'll be, um, let me know if you want a mini catalog too when I have them to make them available. Okay. Thanks so much. Have an awesome night, everybody. Bye-bye. Oh, and listen to that video um, from the Stampin' Up! Um, on stage, okay? It will energize you, maybe even save it, um, because when you're feeling down or uncreative, play that in the background, and you will feel like a million bucks afterwards. Bye-bye.